the very first uh, experimental science in Western tradition has been music. Sounds very strange, but Pythagoras in, in Greece was able to measure the sounds uh, and it used this kind of proportions, which are mathematical proportions of course, to interpret the world. Particularly he saw some uh, mathematical and uh, musical so proportions between the planets. So the issue, the topic of the relationship between music and science uh, goes to the very heart of the Western culture. Pythagora found some relationship between the planets, the planets which were known at the time of course, uh, and uh, he measured them in musical terms a certain interval between certain planets in the movement. Uh, it's very strange because this theory has been changed but has persisted during history up to the, say, 17th century. Then it has been abandoned. And in the last years, in the last, uh, the last years of the 20th century, they started measuring the resonance, the frequencies of some planets. And they found that some of the ideas of Pythagoras in, in fact were true. Goldberg variation, this beautiful, enormous masterpiece by Bach, is uh, clearly the attempt to concentrate any aspect of music, that's of a musical society, in a single piece. So the single piece is a very small and concentrated representation of the whole world. And two other very important pieces, the musical offering and the Art of Fugue. Art of Fugue is the very last piece by Bach, it's unfinished. And these pieces were written for a society of science and music. So were written as uh, scientific essays, as strange as it may sound. But so the contrapuntal, the complexity of textures in these pieces uh, are just, uh, uh, how to say, thought as scientific essays to reach the most complex calculations a composer could ever write on paper.